listening to an interview with uh, Azar Mojedi. Today is the 7th of January 2013. Azar is a leading member of Worker Communist Movement and chairperson of Organization for Women's Liberation. I am Mariam Kusha. Today we are conducting an interview with Azar on the subject of unity and joining uh, of two parties, that is uh, uh, Worker Communist Party Hekmatist and Worker Communism Unity Party, the joining of the latter party to the Hekmatist Party. Thanks, Azar, for uh, being with us. Thanks for uh, actually giving me this opportunity to talk about this very important issue and that many uh, of our comrades have asked us to sort of give more uh, explanation about in English. Yes, I know. We've uh, uh, written so much about it in Farsi, and there have exactly. been many interviews, and uh, you yourself have uh, uh, produced uh, video blog blogs about it, but nothing uh, in particular in English. So this is what we're trying to do today. Yeah. Um, as you know, on the 27th of November, Worker Communist Communism Unity Party joined uh, the Worker Communist Party Hekmatist. Uh, there was a, a, a big seminar meeting in the uh, city of Gothenburg in Sweden uh, with a bit of celebration for this uh, unity. Uh, there were many speeches. You yourself were one of the speakers in, the, in that meeting. Could you just uh, give us uh, uh, some background to this uh, uh, move to join the Hekmatist Party? Okay. Uh, on some of the points I just mentioned, and if you uh, think uh, appropriate or if you think necessary, you could ask me more questions later. Um, after Masur Hekmat's death, the, the leader of the Worker Communist uh, Party of Iran and the founder of the Worker Communist Party of Iran, a Marxist theoretician, uh, and very, very important figure in the left and communist movement, not only in Iran, but I can actually say internationally. In 2002, um, Worker Communist Party, which, uh, that, which uh, was 10 years old at that point, uh, started ha having inside problems, you, problems in, inside its leadership, I should say. And uh, so, uh, finally, uh, in August 2004, there was a very, very big and important split from that party, which created Worker uh, Communist Party uh, Hekmatis, and um, which was a very strong, but very important blow to Worker Communist Movement of Iran, Worker Communism Movement's uh, sort of party formation, if you like, and also to the Worker Communist Party of Iraq, I believe. And then, um, the, 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 and the, the, spl the split actually created a lot of uh, disappointment and demoralized many of cadres of Worker Communist Movement in general, especially in Iran, and both also internationally. Um, and after that, in uh, 2006, uh, there were, we... Um, had problems with the, um, we were among the leadership of the Worker Communist Party of Iran and uh, we had uh, political, deep political issues and problems and conflicts with the other, the, the other part of the leadership. And in, um, finally in December 2006 we decided to have a faction inside the party. We fought for that faction for a few months but, but it was uh, um, no, it was it was not allowed uh, by the dominant uh, part of the leadership uh, for this faction to to carry on, and it became very messy uh, and became very dirty at times. The the, the 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 sort of the debate, and finally in May two thousand seven, we split, we separated from the Worker Communist Party of Iran and created Worker Communism Unity Party. Uh, you were yourself one of the uh, founders of this party. It was me, it was uh, Siavash Danishwar, Ali Javadi, um, Nasrin Ramazan Ali, Mahmoud Ahmadi, um, uh, <clears throat> uh, Well, uh, they were with us, but among the founders, there were 10 members of the, work, uh, of the Central Committee of Worker Communist Unity 
uh, Worker Communist uh, Party that signed the funding paper of the Worker Communist Unity Party. Um, Homa uh, Arjomand uh, and uh, Jalil Behuzi, I think we come to, to 10. If I'm, if you remember anybody else, we, we would mention them later. Well, your memory is better than mine. <laughs> um, and we worked very hard to, um, to, for the main principles and uh, political radicalism of worker communist uh, ideas and principles and theory of uh, Mansur Hikmat in our party. And we named ourselves Unity uh, for a reason, because we thought that split created a lot of um, disappointment and demoralized many of um, cadres of the worker communist movement and actually damaged, it, uh, it was a blow to, uh, to the worker communist movement uh, in Iran especially. And we were trying to, uh, to sort of create a unity among the whole movement, not only among the parties, but among the whole movement. Since um, we started our faction, which was in December 2006, until the time we actually uh, decided to, we joined the Hekmatis party uh, in November, end of November uh, 2012, which gives us about six years, we fought for the, for, for, for Mansur Hekmat's um, sort of a trend of worker communism, uh, its radical uh, trend and its working class uh, um, characteristic and, and nature. And uh, we actually criticized the other uh, the parties any time we thought they were um, sort of ta were taking a, a right uh, sort of um, po position. Uh, position exactly adopting. Uh, rightist positions, uh, but uh, we were trying to uh, to raise the banner of Mansur Hikmat's worker communism in Iran, raise it even higher. So worker communism becomes uh, uh, actually credible enough uh, to to stand as a as a very important opposition. Uh, towards the Islamic regime and the whole bourgeoisie and the whole uh, reactionary right-wing um, uh, opposition and the position actually in Iranian society. To do that, we needed to uh, create a much bigger party, much more unified party, much more disciplined party, and party strongly uh, committed to, to uh, radicalism uh, of the worker communism um, tendency and positions and principles and ideas and theory and politics, if you like. Um, in last year, um, in February 2012, um, um, Hekmati's party, after a sort of very recent split, had its fifth Congress. At that point, part of the um, Hekmati's party uh, had left this party uh, and um, tried to claim the name and the, pos uh, the, the uh, possession uh, of the party Hekmatist, uh, where, whereas they were only a very small minority of the um, leadership of the party. And uh, they actually created their own Fifth Congress. Uh, which was a very small uh, um, gathering of uh, some of the members, previous members of the, the, the big Hekmatis party. And after that, uh, the, many, many of the politics that was expressed, especially by the um, previous leader of that party, which was Kurosh Modarasi, which we had opposed to and we had criticized, which we thought it was uh, had nothing to do with the um, the Marxist, Marxism or Mansur Hekmat's views, uh, we, um, those um, points of views, which were Kurosh Modarus's views, were actually totally abandoned and were very clear that they were not the documents or the, the real official positions of the Hekmatist party. And the, the, the Hekmatist party, the, its leadership, its cadres, um, began openly uh, criticize uh, and write, uh, express different critiques towards those right-wing or na um, sort of traditional leftist kind of uh, policies, uh, which were our um, points of opposition as well. 
And we realized that there were long few years of battle inside Hekmati's party, which sort of came into open in that sort of way. Uh, and uh, from uh, Fifth Congress, we joined that Congress. We uh, issued a very warm, uh, very supportive uh, message to that Congress and to the cadres and uh, leadership of the Pekmati's party. And from that moment, we started having a much closer relationship. Uh, we also started dialogues about how we can work closely together. It was first the, uh, the fact that we work closely together. Uh, and eventually that came to uh, the, the point that we should become one party. I should also mention that, that in 2008 we had uh, expressed uh, our eagerness to join the Hekmatis party uh, at... at, at the point that they they, they were uh, quite um, active and had uh, gained some achievements in the uh, political um, er arena of the Iranian society. And that was uh, sort of rejected, uh, and we left it at that. But this time, uh, our comrades in the Hekmatis party said that that decision was wrong, and we should try to do the same. We had dialogues. We had dialogues about how to do it, how is the best to do it, how is best to overcome the differences we had at before, which not were not just um, empty uh, critiques, but really based in um, had a base in what we believed in and what we thought was right or what was wrong, and same as those comrades. So uh, to make the long story short. We had a few um, meetings in different uh, cities. Uh, the leadership of uh, our party, Worker Communism Unity Party, and the leadership of Hekmati's party. And finally, we decided to uh, join, uh, abolish, if you like, our own party and join the Hekmati's party in order to uh, strengthen. Uh, the worker communist movement, the party formation in worker communist movement. We all know that the working class needs a strong, determined um, communist party if it is going to win against the odds, against bourgeoisie, uh, if it's going to uh, cr uh, create and organize a social revolution and uh, topple capitalism. Uh, a, a, a communist party, a worker communist party, is a very important instrument. Without it, it's not possible to organize a social revolution. For that aim, we decided to join Hekmati's party to create that party. That's necessary tool of the working class to uh, organize this revolution, organize the working workers' revolution, to topple not only Islamic regime but also capitalism in Iran. And uh, this is, a, I, everyone thought, and I think too, was a very courageous act and decision, and so far it's been welcomed quite warmly uh, by the cadres of the worker communist movement. Uh, okay, for people who um, vaguely know about uh, different splits and unities within the worker communist movement of Iran, um, can, can we just be more, a bit more specific? Uh, in 2004, um, a uh, section of the leadership, Central Committee of the Working Communist Party, split. They called themselves the Hekmatis Party. And then in 2006, uh, part of the uh, about 10 of the Central Committee members of the Worker Communist Party um, uh, built their faction. And in 2007, this faction split from the Worker Communist Party. So at that time, in, in uh, 2007, uh, we had three parties. Worker Communist Party, which was originally built by Mansur Ahmad, and we were all in it. And then, um, but we then came out. We had that, the Worker Communist Party. Then we had the Worker Communism Unity Party. Then we had the Worker Communist Party, Hekmatis. We've got three parties. Would you say that they are all within the Worker Communist Movement? And uh, that's why there has always been a tendency towards, as, as much as there was a tendency to split, but there was always 
a, a tendency somehow to unite? Uh, this is a bit difficult. There has been ups and downs, and uh, uh, we, uh, we as the Worker Communist Unity Party, uh, have um, um, actually issued a resolution um, to um, regarding the the two parties, Hekmatis and uh, Worker Communist Party. A uh, few years back, in on in one of our plenums, uh, the, the the sort of uh, the official meeting of the uh, Central Committee, and there we uh, our judgment was that these two parties do not belong to worker communist movement, and we had uh, our um, criteriums for uh, judging this way. It was not just sectarian. It was not just being enemy, or it just wasn't anything like that. We had some real criteria to uh, to uh, actually judge on this basis. Uh, to my opinion, things have changed, has had ups and downs. Where it comes to worker communist uh, party, that is Hekmatist, where there have been views and there have been uh, documents and resolutions that, for example, the leadership of WPI and myself, for example, uh, that we have been opposed to, uh, and we have criticized at the time. But there also have been some uh, docu some politics, uh, some policies, or some uh, um, actions uh, that uh, it came to our uh, understanding later on, uh, which were not the official documents of the Hekmatis Party. That means no plenum, no Congress, uh, no political bureau meeting had not um, adopted those, uh, but they were expressed by Kurosh Modarisi, who for a while was the leader of that party and was, an, was a, uh, one of the founders of this party and who uh, split from the Worker Communist Party. And it came out as such, so as it seemed like it, they were the policies by the Hekmatis party, which we realized later on they were not. They were only policies he, manu he articulated, he expressed in TV or in writing or in seminars, and um, the, the main bulk of the leadership and part of the cadres of the Hekmatis party themselves were opposed to those. I'm, I'm going to give some examples, so it just doesn't seem to be too vague. For example, one of the main issues for the worker communism movement, uh, which has actually been um, elaborated and written about a lot by Mansur Hikmat, is we believe in workers' councils. We think councils are the best way, and if you like, the most democratic way uh, that working class can organize itself. We think trade unions or syndic uh, syndicates or syndica, as they say in French, they are, uh, in a way, I mean, bureaucratic would not be the very good definition, but this is what I'm going to tr try to use just to be short. And also, it's, it does not uh, engage all the members of that particular trade or particular um, work unit. Whereas in a council, based on general assemblies, you engage all the workers. All the workers, and they have to decide, And but in a trade union, you, they, they are, you create some members, they usually just, they don't, don't even work themselves, they sit in some offices and they decide for the workers. And trade unionist policies are usually very, um, uh, sort of trying to make compromises between the bourgeoisie, the capitalists and the workers, come in between, make a dollar or two, two dollars uh, more wages, but giving in many other ways of the workers' rights. Whereas councils have have the capacity of really representing uh, workers, councils as the mass organization of the working class is one of the um, one of the points of um, main importance to work to working class to worker communist movement for us. But what happened in the Hekmatis party from Kurosh Modarisi and his um, uh, supporters? They started talking about no councils, you know, syndical council, trade union council, that doesn't mean anything, we don't have any problems, and started actually 
a, a, a trend um, treating the workers' movements or working class movement as though they're, they're trying to give, uh, they were giving lip service to the working class movement uh, and in a way that kind of lip service that we see some of the leftists give the workers, it tries to, um, to it glorifies a workers as a worker but at the same time, it makes a situation as a working class permanent. It's difficult for me to try to explain all these very important issues very shortly, very briefly. I hope we can have other interviews or sort of write about them. But I can um, um, add, um, give the, um, the... There are articles by Mansur Hekmat written on councils or councils versus trade unions in um, Mansur Hekmat's website. Uh, people could uh, uh, um, visit the website and read on those and see why we defend the, right, the, the councils as a main mass organization uh, for working class. That was one of the points. The other point was the relation to uh, Islamic regime, relation to Ahmadinejad, the prime minister. Uh, uh, there were many other points that uh, when ke coming from uh, it seemed like there were Hekmati's party's positions, whereas it became very clear to us that they were only um, expressed by Kurosh Mudarasi and his supporters and never ever become um, the, um, the official uh, positions of the Hekmati's party, which were uh, very much against. We thought they were really a uh, deviation from the radicalism and, of worker communism and it was more in the m m sort of uh, traditional leftist trend that uh, populist trends and so on that we have been, we are familiar with in Iranian uh, left and also international left. Um, after these, we thought we have a lot in common. We both uh, raised the banner of uh, Mansur Hekmat's worker com trend of worker communism. We, we are working to, cre to organize a social revolution, a worker re revolution in Iran. We're working to um, the, uh, topple uh, Islamic regime by, revolution, by, by revolutionary way and create socialism on the uh, uh, sort of ruins of capitalist system in Iran. We both share the same program, the better, a better world. We share the many, many, many uh, decisions and policies and uh, uh, that we have ha adopted in Worker Communist Party until Third Congress, where uh, when Mansur Ahmad was still alive, and after the dialogues, after re, um, um, studying each other's positions and so on and so forth, we saw a lot of uh, closeness in our point of views, in our policies, in our direction, in our aims, and we were mo many of us, at least the older ones, I should say, we have been uh, comrades for a long time. Uh, in Worker Communist Party of Iran before and also before that some of them in uh, Communist Party of Iran when we were both working in that party. So we decided the best decision, uh, a revolutionary decision would be to uh, say we're going to become one party, the best thing is one joins the other and we joined the Hekmatis party uh, so we're hoping to go uh, more strongly to move forward to organize a social revolution in Iran. Uh, yes, um, I'm sure we will have more interviews uh, because I would like to ask you in more detail about the reasons for splits and the reasons for unity. But as you said, there are many, many issues there. We'll leave that for another interview. But let me ask you this question now. Um, traditionally, <clears throat> historically, uh, we see splits in uh, left communist parties, you know, internationally, everywhere. But this time, uh, we, we, we are actually witnessing a unity, a uh, joining of forces. Um, and also there is a, a kind of a trend uh, also expressed in the worker uh, communist party by their leader, Hamid Targoy, suggesting uh, that there should be unity within the worker communist movement of Iran. Um, what, what do you think of that? Well, <clears throat> that's why many people, in, including ourselves, uh, we called what we did against the current. Against the current meaning, uh, while at least even if you look at the t um, past decade in Iranian um, political uh, arena, 
uh, we've had uh, three and actually four um, by the one that uh, Kurosh Modarasi and his supporters um, uh, leaving Hekmati's party last uh, a year and a half ago uh, splits and there have been splits among the all different kind of left organizations but let me say this is not only uh, a, a characteristic of the leftist organizations you see a lot of splits at least in Iranian uh, right uh, his po politics, you know, you do, actually in the right um, side of the politics in Iran, you hardly have any parties. Uh, you have different groupings that they come together, they uh, dis uh, dismantle, they come together, they dismantle. You hardly have any parties among the rightist uh, uh, party uh, groups and so, uh, movement in Iran. And they have a lot of fight, and sometimes their fights is over the money that they've got from United States of America to fight, for example, Islamic regime or become a, a mouthpiece of the United States policies. Uh, the, at the, in the left is over po politics, at least. Uh, but uh, some of these splits uh, are become necessary because, for, uh, uh, for example, uh, the split we we made from Worker Communist Party in 2007, it was it was necessary. First of all, we wanted to have a faction. They did not allow us to have a faction, and they wanted us to go. And uh, but why did we create a faction? Because we had deep political differences with the leading part, especially Hamid Tahwai as the leader over very important questions in Iranian politics, in international politics. And what we actually see now is come to the full, uh, I mean, it, then it was big, um, uh, sort of, it was a fetus uh, coming to bear, uh, to, to life, uh, and now it's become a, a whole a child. You can see it. Um, Worker Communist Party has nothing to do really with the original Worker Communist Party that Mansur Hekmat founded it in two, one, one, uh, 1991. It has become, uh, to my opinion, that that party is working class uh, politics or working class characteristics have become almost null and uh, is more a secular modernist party uh, which uh, fights for the uh, sort of um, cultural emancipation of the youth, um, some sort of women's rights, not even totally a full liberation of women. Uh, but getting some uh, women's rights, some humanistics, uh, humanitarian uh, rights. They, they even defend the, the um, manifesto of the uh, human rights, if I'm not mistaken, is that, that's what it's called. So uh, our criticism towards the policies of the Worker Communist Party was not just sectarian or was just a, just a, just a fight. It was real. It was real. We had many issues when, when it came to politics. Uh, but this time, uh, when we saw that how close we are in terms of our outlook, in terms of our policies, in terms of our um, di the direction we want to take, in terms of our actions, it would be crazy to work as two parties. Um, that's why we decided to unite. So what I'm trying to say, when we split in 2007 for, was for was good political reasons, because of real political differences with the leadership of the party at that time, we were ourselves part of the leadership, but our coexistence had become almost impossible. And now that we uh, have decided to uh, join uh, Hekmati's party, this one is also based on real closeness of politics and similarity of our points of views. Uh, but uh, there has been also um, the reason, I think, that uh, this talk of uh, unity has uh, become uh, very common is because everyone has seen that left has become weaker after the splits in the Communist Party. And uh, the, the, the chance for the left politics and communist uh, a, um, sort of um, aims to, to have any upper hand in the Iranian society is very meager uh, in this situation that the, the left is organizationally. 
So they, they, everyone started thinking, okay, we should start having a unity among the left. But you can have unity among all the left with different traditions that they come from. Among worker communism for us is a must. But with any other leftists, no, we, we can work together. We can work on different subjects, but not becoming as one party. When it comes to what's called worker communist party, Hamid Taqwai has also come with a plan. But his plan, to my opinion, is very wishy-washy. For example, he says that we're going to have an all-inclusive uh, Congress. I do not understand what that all-inclusive con con Congress means, how, 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 how practical it is, how feasible it is, how we're going to do it. And then we come, we, we just make another party. Uh, it, just, it just doesn't make sense. And in, in his um, seminar in Stockholm, when he was trying to introduce the subject and elaborate on the subject, <coughs> sorry, the reasons uh, and the um, theoretical basis that he was giving for this decision was very much uh, uh, idealistic. Um, he, he was talking about, for example, the reason it, it, it was not, it was not uh, actually, it, he, he talked as though it was necessary to have all those splits because we each had to have our identities. I don't understand what that means, our identities. And then, um, now it's necessary because it's the age of uprising. What is the age of uprising? What's the uh, materialistic basis of it? What's the Marxist um, explanation? theoretical explanation of this. What is this age of uprisings? Because we've seen uprisings in different uh, countries of the Middle East. Why? That Because of that we need to become one party in the Iranian side. And uh, there were many issues that are even in that, putting all the um, populist uh, policies aside from 2006 to 2012, even that explanation he was giving to me was all populist. On that basis, I cannot make a, a worker communist party with anybody. And then uh, his suggestions were uh, very impractical, non-feasible. Uh, I'm sure the intention is good, and I hope that intention uh, would become something more down to earth, but with feet, two feet on the, on the ground, uh, with the Marxist explanation, saying that they, they realized that as a party, they've, they've become very weak. Uh, they realize now, even when, like in 2009, they tried to sort of um, side with the uh, so-called green movement or even monarchies, they, they, they demonstrated together, they came very close to them, and then they realized they even got weaker instead of getting stronger. Now they want to make another move coming towards the left, coming towards the left from the World Communist Party is a very, very a positive uh, step. And I do uh, support that. And I'm glad if they're trying to move towards left again, they're trying to uh, come to terms with, the, with their socialist side, with their worker uh, class uh, characteristic, which they have forgotten. <coughs> no, I can't, I can't say. Uh, so... I do not find that solution uh, workable at all, uh, what uh, Hamid, <coughs> excuse me, um, what Hamid Takwai was talking about. Uh, but I hope we see <coughs> more unity in worker communism, communist movement inside Iran and also internationally. Uh, going back to the um to the event on the 27th of November, Worker Communist Immunity Party joining the Hekmatist Party. Um, it's been, uh, what, uh, about uh, two months or nearly two months uh, since then. Uh, has it, maybe it's too soon, but uh, still I'm going to ask you the question. Do you think it has um, given encouragement to the worker, workers' uh, communist movement or workers' movement in Iran especially? Well, first of all, it's one month. <laughs> it was 27th of November when we issued our yeah. statement. And then uh, 7th, 8th of December, we had our meeting. <coughs> and, well, we had the Christmas holidays coming. 
Well, uh, the news uh, we've been receiving from Iran, uh, from um, some uh, sort of activists of the working class, uh, some sort of um, working class uh, uh, leaders inside Iran, has been very positive. Uh, they've they've, they've um, um, received the news, of course, I'm talking about the socialist or um, communist uh, part of the working class. Uh, it's been positive and they, they, they've become much uh, glad of uh, the news and they think this is going to have a positive effect on the situation of worker communism uh, among the working class uh, and in the society. Uh, I myself have received quite a few emails and messages of congratulation, even from the left organizations that are not part of the worker communist movement, but they thought that that actually could strengthen the left, that we, after splits we've seen this unity. Many people thought that's been very courageous to do that. And um, I, um, well, we have to see because uh, unfortunately, after that 8th of December meeting, we, we had some internal um, meetings to um, sort of reorganize the party or organize the newcomers into the party. And after that, we had the Christmas holidays. Uh, so we have not seen much uh, action coming out of the party, except trying to explain what has happened through different video blogs or, or interviews and so on and so forth about this unity in Farsi. And this is the first English. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm sure it's going to have a great effect. It all depends on us. How? Um, how we're going to take it, how active we're going to become, how determined we as cadres of Hikmati's party are going to be and work hard to show that this unity has really revitalized worker communist movement uh, in Iran and worker communist movement internationally. And now we are a much stronger party working together. And you know what? It's not only that our numbers have become more, but a, quality, a qualitative difference has, has been ha happening. The fact that, as we just talked about it, we, after four, uh, three splits, now we have a unity, a unity of two important parties of this movement, a unity of two parties <coughs> who's uh, well-known in the Iranian society, and also, uh, to some extent, internationally. Its importance, is, I think, is from this point of view, which for many people might be still um, a bit skeptical, uh, but I don't think they would stay skeptical for very long, because I'm hoping uh, that our party, Hekmati's party, is going to become a very active and forerunner of um, opposition, Iranian opposition, uh, in fighting against Islamic regime and for equality, freedom and prosperity for all uh, people who live in Iran. Uh, obviously this video blog is, because it's in English, is mainly uh, done towards people who are interested in this subject and have been following the uh, events in the worker communist movement on, of Iran. Uh, what is your message to people who are actually watching you talk today? Um, actually, um, an interesting um, phenomenon is that uh, worker communist movement um, who um, actually follow um, Mansur Hekmat's uh, theories and uh, political views um, are, uh, have some grounds in European society as well. And uh, some of them are uh, very closely following all the movements by their parties in the worker communist uh, movement of Iran. Um, this unity, uh, of course, the splits have uh, disappointed many of these comrades as well. And now uh, we see a very uh, different uh, move, a different trend is happening. The unity of worker communist unity party, uh, worker communism unity party and Worker Communist uh, uh, Party Hekmatist is a very important and significant event in the uh, communist, uh, Worker Communist movement. And I wish uh, and I hope all these comrades would 
follow um, our, our party and we try to um, publish uh, English uh, journals and try to give more information and more translation of what we are doing in English and I hope uh, that we can create a worker communist, uh, a, a sort of wide, a wide and large worker communist party or organization uh, in, in Europe as well and work closely together, especially in this time that we see um, a lot of uh, demonstrations, protests by the people, by the working class uh, in this dire situation, we can become much more active in the realities of the uh, class uh, struggle in Europe as well as uh, in the Middle East. Thanks, Raza. Thanks, Maria.